Is us the latest in blue. Very good morning to you. Thank you. A very good morning to you, Blaine, and a good morning to our viewers at home. We are coming to you live from Hilton in the KwaZulu Natal Midlands. Yes, you mentioned that we are bidding Youth Month uh, goodbye. And of course, during this whole entire month, we have heard of various social ills that we're facing, uh, that young people we are currently facing, namely being the high rates of unemployment, uh, HIV and AIDS. You recall, Blaine, that not so long ago, the deputy minister, the deputy president, rather, um, uh, David Mabuza, was here in KwaZulu Natal, and he gave shocking figures about the high rates of HIV and AIDS uh, in infections in our province, and namely across the whole of Southern Africa. And among some of those statistics, they did mention that over 250,000 people were being infected by the virus alone annually. And a number of those people, I happen to be a young people between the ages of 14 and of course 25. And these have actually just been extremely sad stories for our country. But today we have positive news. We have young people that have gone out into the world saying that we are proud of our culture and we want to play a meaningful, meaningful role in trying to ensure that we preserve our culture as well as we preserve our language as well. But to tell me more about today's events, I've got Dr. Mtsebu, who's actually the founder and the organizer of the Indoni program. Thank you very much for your time, Dr. Mtsebu. What's the purpose of today's uh, program? Um, today's program is the Indoni, My Heritage, My Pride Culture Schools. And as we say, My Heritage, My Pride, it's exactly about that. It's about the youth of today saying, My heritage is my pride. And taking the baton from the youth of 76 who were fighting for liberation. The youth of today are, say, are saying, We are fighting for the liberation of our minds as black people. But also, we are fighting for liber liberation against, you know, being dotted with all these social ills. Um, as you said, HIV, unemployment, crime, all of these social ills are actually, you know, targeted or towards the young black person. So as Indon, we are saying, how can young people, boys and girls, be groomed, you know, uh, be, 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 be given lessons about life, you know, being proud in yourself. Truth be told is that every social ill, whether it's crime, whether it's unemployment, uh, whether it's HIV AIDS, it's a behavior. So through Indoni, we are saying, how can we change the behaviors of young um, boys and girls in a positive manner so that we influence those stats that you are talking about um, of HIV and AIDS. I mean, as a medical doctor, for me, uh, it's a very sore point to hear those stats. Young girls falling pregnant early age, being infected by HIV and AIDS, which is a behavior towards sex. So through Indoor, it's important to teach young girls and boys about Ubuntu. Now, in African culture, um, there's stages of growth. You know, a, a young boy and a young girl goes through different stages. And within those stages, there are different responsibilities and, and um, different morals that they have to ab abide by. So through the Indoni culture schools, that is exactly what we're teaching young South African kids to take pride in themselves first. Because I believe that if a young person is proud in themselves and respects themselves, they, they won't throw themselves in drugs because they respect themselves. They won't have sex early because they respect themselves. So they'll want something better for themselves. Doctor, I like what you said about young people uh, being proud of who we are. Now, I understand that currently Facebook has blocked your page where young people have actually expressed who they are. And as a result of that, Facebook has actually blocked their page because uh, they said that some of the pictures that you have actually portray pornography and nudity. Tell us more about that. It's very sad indeed that in Africa, you know, um, you know, Western companies come into Africa and they don't respect who we are as Africans and our values and our principles. Now, in African culture, when a young girl is bare-breasted, it's a sign of pride, pride in herself, that she's still a virgin, meaning she's not having sex, she's not contacting HIV or sexually transmitted disease, which are part of the social ills. But also, even for the parent, it's a huge point of respect to know that my child is a pure virgin. Now, Facebook will take down any picture of Indoni, has blocked all uh, Indoni um, pages, social media pages, because they view traditional attire as being nudity and as promoting um, pornography. Thank you very much for your time there, Dr. Mtsebu. Now, let me talk to another young person here, what's their views about this program. Thank you very much for your time, Ndombi. You are a maiden, you are very proud of who you are. Tell us, why are you happy and why are you proud of being a maiden? 
at a time as young people that we are proud of who we are. We show who we are. We live who we are. You represent your culture. You represent your nation. It's in you. You need to be proud of yourself. You don't have to change for anyone. People cannot respect you if you can't respect yourself. People cannot be proud of you if you can't be proud of yourself. It starts with you. Now, I understand that you are from Johannesburg and you joined this two-week winter school. And from that you have learned a lot. What is it that you have learned? I've learned how to be proud of myself. Now I can see my culture not as nudity. Now I can see that walking naked, it is not just, it is not being naked actually. It is just being proud of yourself, knowing that you are still innocent. No one has ever touched you. You're not doing anything. And other advice to other young people across the country? It is that it is time that we come off, we come out of those cages that we are in. You come out there, you voice yourself, you speak your mind, you speak your heart, you you do yourself, be you, do you, live yourself, live your culture, be proud of who you are. Thank you very much. Wow, some very powerful words from a young person saying that we are proud of who we are, we are proud of being black, and we are not going to change for anybody else. And of course, you did hear uh, Dr. Mtembe mentioning that uh, some of their posts on Facebook and some of their pages have actually been blocked because some of the pictures that they've posted are actually deemed as pornographic uh, or rather nudity. Over back to you, Blaine, in studio. Um, Lou, appreciate your reporting. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, Mlungisi Komala coming to us live from Hilton in KwaZulu-Natal. Well, let's get you the latest.